Hi beauties, Rosie here from rosiepena.com, a sewing, fashion, and lifestyle blog. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you're here. So in today's video, we're going to be doing another episode of Sewing with Rosie. So we're going to be making Simplicity 8513, and we're going to be doing View A, which has this really gorgeous cross lace detail. But we're going to be making the sleeve version on View B, which is this really cool, fun flare sleeve. The fabric that you want to choose for this is definitely some type of soft knit. You don't want anything too thick or too heavy, so any medium weight knit will do really well with this pattern. So go ahead and grab your fabric and your pattern and we can go ahead and get started. Alright you guys, we're going to go ahead and get started on sewing Simplicity 8513. So the very first thing we need to do is to cut out our pattern pieces. So I have my fabric folded with right sides facing with the grain line on the pattern pieces running parallel to the selvage edge of the fabric. So go ahead and cut out your pattern pieces. Make sure to transfer all of your notches. I like to use this tracing paper. It's the best one that I've found so far. And then also a tracing wheel. I'll have both of those products linked in the description bar below. First you'll need pattern piece number one. This is your front. You're gonna cut this on the fold. Make sure you transfer all of those markings. We're gonna need those in a later step. Next, you'll need pattern piece number three. This is your back, and this is not cut on the fold, so you should have two separate pieces. Next, we'll need pattern piece number five. This is your front facing, and this is cut on the fold as well. Next, you'll need pattern piece number six. This is your back facing, and this is not cut on the fold, so you'll have two separate pieces. Next, we're gonna use pattern piece number 12, which is the belt sleeve for view B but we're gonna use it for this view as well next you're gonna need two separate pieces of pattern piece number eight this is gonna be your tie now we need to cut one of pattern piece number four this is gonna be your loops that your tie will go through now we need pattern piece number nine this is your leg elastic guide so you don't cut this out of fabric you need to grab a quarter inch elastic and you're gonna cut this out two times the length of the guide Now that you have all of your pattern pieces cut out, we're gonna go ahead and get into the sewing steps. So the very first step that we're gonna work on is we're gonna grab our back facing pieces and we're gonna put them with right sides together and we're gonna pin along the center back. Go ahead and repeat that step to your back piece as well. We're also going to go ahead and fold our sleeve with right sides facing and we're going to pin along the underarm seam. Go ahead and repeat that step to your other sleeve as well. Now we're going to pin our tie pieces with right sides together along one short edge. Next, you're gonna grab your loop piece and you're gonna fold it onto itself with right sides facing and you're gonna pin along the entire length, very close to the raw edge. Now we're going to go ahead and take all of our pinned fabric pieces to our sewing machine and we're going to sew along each edge with 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, making sure to backstitch at the beginning and end of your seams and also remove those pins as you go.
and you get to your loop sew that piece with a quarter of an inch seam allowance so pretty close to the raw edge of the fabric We're going to go ahead and work on our tie piece at our sewing table so press that seam open where you sewed your tie with right sides facing and then you're going to fold it onto itself with right sides facing just like you did for your loop piece so go ahead and pin very close to the raw edge of the fabric all the way down the entire length now you want to sew your tie along the pinned edge with a quarter of an inch seam allowance Once you've sewn your entire tie piece, go ahead and grab a safety pin or a bodkin tool and you're gonna slip that into your tie. Then you wanna open the bodkin and clip the edge of the fabric. Then use that to turn the tie with right sides facing out. Go ahead and repeat that same exact step to your loop piece as well. Once you have both your loop and your tie with right sides facing out, go ahead and take that to your ironing table and we're just going to press along the entire length of the pieces. Next we're going to cut our loop into 8 separate pieces that are 1 and 3 quarters of an inch long. Now we're going to fold our loops in half and we're going to pin them to the front where we made our markings. So we should have four on each side and you're just going to center your loop over the marking and pin in place. Want to take your front to your sewing machine and you're going to baste along all of the pinned edges. This is going to secure each of your loops in place. you have all of your loops pinned in place we're going to go ahead and place our back to our front with right sides together and we're going to pin along both shoulder seams and both side seams You want to repeat those steps to your front and your back facing pieces. So go ahead and place your front facing to your back facing with right sides together. And you're going to pin along both shoulder seams and both side seams.
Take your pinned pieces to your sewing machine and you're gonna sew with 5 8 of an inch seam allowance on all of your pinned edges. with our facing pieces with the wrong sides facing out we're going to slip that over our bodysuit with right sides together matching the front and the seams of the bodysuit to the seams of the facing pin along the entire neck edges Go ahead and sew along all of the pinned edges along your neckline, making sure to pivot whenever you get to the front V. So go ahead and leave your needle in your fabric when you get to the point and then raise your presser foot and adjust your fabric. Then go ahead and lower your presser foot back down and continue sewing along the neckline. Before we do our understitching, go ahead and grab your scissors and snip all the way to the point on the V neck. Now we're going to work on our understitching, so go ahead and press the seam allowance towards the facing and we're going to top stitch along the facing, making sure to catch the seam allowance underneath. Now you want to trim your seam allowance down to about a quarter of an inch all the way around your neckline. Then you're going to go ahead and turn your garment with the right sides facing out. Take your fabric to your ironing table and you're going to gently press along the neckline just to neaten things up a bit. Now you want to match the armhole seam of the facing to the armhole seam of the bodysuit and you're going to pin this with wrong sides together. Then we're just going to take this to the sewing machine and baste this in place. This is going to make sure that the fabric doesn't shift around whenever we're attaching our sleeve. going to neaten the back crotch edge so we're going to turn that raw edge about a quarter of an inch up to the wrong side and then we're going to fold again another half of an inch go ahead and pin that in place then we're going to sew very close to the turned in edge to pin the crotch lining pattern piece number two to the front with right sides together along the notched edge 
fabric to your sewing machine and you're going to sew first along the armhole edges with a basting stitch. So this is just the longest stitch on your sewing machine. Now go ahead and sew along the pressed edge on your back crotch, very close to the turned in edge. Then you're going to go ahead and sew your front crotch with right sides together to your front matching those notches and you're going to sew with 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Go ahead and trim that seam down and then you're going to turn the fabric with wrong sides together and you're going to base the crotch lining to the front crotch along the sides. Now we need to sew our elastic to our leg opening. So go ahead and grab one elastic piece and you're gonna pin that to one leg opening to the wrong side. Then you're gonna take that to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew with a zigzag stitch very close to the side of the elastic and the side of the leg opening. You'll need to slightly stretch your elastic as you sew, making sure everything is nice and even. We're going to turn the edges to the inside and we're going to stitch very close to the raw edge. This is going to encase your elastic. Repeat the same exact steps to your remaining elastic and your remaining leg opening. We sewed the seams of our sleeve in an earlier step. Now you want to place the sleeve into the garment with right sides together and you're going to pin matching the armhole seam of the sleeve to the armhole seam of the garment. Then you want to match the front and back notches. Repeat that step to your remaining sleeve and your remaining armhole. Take the garment to your sewing machine and you're going to sew along the pinned edge with 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Once you finish with that, go ahead and neaten the seam with your desired method. Now we can go ahead and lace up the front of our bodysuit. So go ahead and slip your tie into the loops starting at the bottom and then you're just going to thread your tie throughout the loops crisscrossing side to side. The way that I like to neaten the very raw edge of both ends of the tie is I like to tie a knot and then I just snip off the excess. This is just going to give the end of the tie a little bit more of a neat finish. But one of the great things about knit fabric is that the edges don't fray. I chose to leave the sleeve hem of my garment with the raw edges out, but you can choose to sew the hem of the sleeve by turning in to the wrong side by 5 eighths of an inch and sewing very close to the raw edge. Once you finish with that, the very last step is just to sew your snaps to the bottom edges of your crotch. Sew 3 male snaps to the front crotch and 3 female snaps to the back crotch. Once you finish with that, you are all done with Simplicity 8513. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these sew along videos. Make sure you let me know in the comments below if you want these videos to continue on. I can definitely post a Sewing with Rosie video every Friday if you guys show it enough love and enough support. 
Let me know in the comments below if you're finding these videos helpful and if you're enjoying them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!